I'm going to explain to you how the FBI opening an investigation on Judge Kavanaugh doesn't really matter by using condiments. Let's say the FBI's is homemade hot sauce. Could be tangy, could be good. It could burn your butthole. The Senate is mayonnaise. Old white people love mayonnaise. And Judge Kavanaugh is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Wordplay. This is what the Democratic Party in the Senate wants. They want the FBI to open an investigation on Judge Kavanaugh. They will use their special investigators to collect a bunch of information on Judge Kavanaugh and Ms. Ford's allegations and then return it to the FBI. The FBI will write it up in nice, neat forms and then transfer all this information to the Senate committee. The Senate committee will then use its own team of investigators to go over the information and any other information that the senators may want and directly question Judge Kavanaugh. But Judge Kavanaugh has already gone through this. Once selected, the FBI opened an investigation on him for a background check. Those special investigators got all the information from Judge Kavanaugh, went over it. The Senate then had their own team of investigators go over this information. What people don't understand is that this entire investigation circle always ends with the Senate, its committee, and its team of investigators going over anything and everything that they want to then directly question Judge Kavanaugh or any witness. The committee already has the power to investigate Judge Kavanaugh more thoroughly. This is where the Democratic Party made a boo-boo. After the FBI and their special team of investigators gathered all the information that they could on Judge Kavanaugh and any indecent act that he may have done throughout his tenure at being a judge, they passed it to the Senate and its committee so that the Senate and its own team of special investigators could then question the judge. But 45 days prior to Judge Kavanaugh's hearing with Ms. Ford, they received Ms. Ford's information regarding a sexual assault. What did they do with it? Nothing. Instead of having Ms. Ford's information and having their team of special investigators go over it, so then they could question Judge Kavanaugh on these topics, the members of the Democratic Party in this Senate committee didn't show up or held on to the information, did not give it to any special investigators, did not bring it up, and did not have it gone over or investigated for almost a month and a half. Now, instead of having their own team of investigators, which it would have ended up being anyway, go over this information earlier, they want to start the circle over again to where the FBI opens up an investigation, they go over the information they received, their investigators continue to go over it and talk to Judge Kavanaugh. Then they pass over all this information back to the Senatorial Committee, back to their special investigators who had it and had the chance to investigate it the entire time. The circle always ends with the committee, its team of investigators, and its ability to question the judge, the victim, and any witness that they choose. By the way, lying to this committee is a felony. In conclusion, whether or not the FBI be involved in any investigation throughout this process, the Senate, its committee, and its special investigators always have the power. They have the power to go over and investigate. They have the power to question. They have the power to ask for more information. They have the power to bring in witnesses, suspects, the judge himself, and to question them over anything and everything. The FBI does not have the power here. It's all in the committee.